Hey, welcome back to another episode of my Element series. Uh, today we're going to break down the micronutrient of calcium. Uh, calcium is super important in the life of your plant, from vegetative growth all the way through flower. Calcium actually helps to build the cell membranes and have certain enzymes that go through to form the cell walls. I mean, basically your entire cell wall, the entire stalks of your plants are made out of calcium. Now, there are ways to spot deficiencies. Um, if you want to take a look at this plant right here, you're going to see these little circles with yellow dots in there. Early on, you're going to see smaller amounts and they'll eventually get a little bit larger um, in size and eventually, you know, your plant's just going to kind of wither up and these leaves are going to fall off. Now, if you really want to look at why this calcium is so important, if you took a triangle, you put calcium at the very top of that triangle, everything else works with calcium. So whether it's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, all your micronutrients, calcium is at the very top of that pyramid. So it is as important as any of your macronutrients are. Um, now, in order to fix any of these kind of deficiencies, we've got lots of different products out there. I mean, you can go with a liquid. We've got just a straight up calcium nitrate. Uh, that will be instantly available to your plants to fix that problem. Now, t keep in mind that when these you see those deficiencies in your leaves, you're not going to just make them go away. But what you'll do is all that new growth will start to say nice and green. Uh, now back to the, the nutrients we have to fix that problem. Like I said, you have lots of options, uh, but on the liquid side, you, you do the calcium nitrate will fix it fast. Uh, there's also an organic liquid. It's derived from cursorite and gypsum. Uh, so that's just kind of an organic way to, to fix that problem. Now it does take a little bit longer for this to break down. I mean, you're looking at you know two or three days versus as soon as you give it to it, it's going to fix that problem. Now. There's other organic ways that you can fix this as well. Now, if you've been amending your soils, bone meal is a great source of calcium. Uh, now, it also has your uh, phos phosphorus in it as well, which is fine. Phosphates are great. So keep in mind when you're building your soils, if you are using that bone meal, you're going to use it early on and it's going to slowly break down. So that calcium will be released veg all the way up into flour. Uh, there's lime, which typically you don't use a lot of. Now, sometimes you'll find it in some soils. Again, remember I told you before that lime really isn't a nutrient, but there is a high cal lime, so it does have a lot of calcium in it, and then that lime kind of just works as a buffer anyways. Um, now, there's another method that I've, I'll dive into later. I'm actually, I did a podcast uh, with one of my friends, David Grady, that is all into Korean natural farming. Now, we went over a way to make it. Now, I'm not going to dive deep into how to do it. We'll eventually do some videos on there, but it's taking eggshells. Um, eggshells, now, if you can take them and brown them and get that little membrane that's off on the inside, uh, once you've browned them to a certain color, no, you don't want them black, you don't want them undercooked, but there's a certain level that you want them at, and then you can soak them in um, some brown vinegar, which is basically just acetic acid. Now, what that acetic acid will do is it's going to slowly break down that calcium that's in those eggshells, uh, and from there, you can use it as something like this, like a calcium nitrate, but only it's going to be an organic version to it. Now, I don't remember like how much you use of it. It's usually like a, a one, it was either one to a hundred or one to a thousand when you start to make your own uh, but like I said I'll dive deep into that later on and we're actually working on another podcast with these guys to kind of go over the whole Korean natural farming aspect anyways of just using nature to kind of produce everything yourselves but again you know calcium is very important from veg all the way through flour uh, there's another thing even if you've seen on tomatoes if you see these little brown spots on the outside of your tomatoes that's called blossom end rot which is a calcium deficiency now, a lot of people will get calcium and magnesium thinking that they're the same. They're a little bit different. Uh, magnesium does a different role. I'll go over that later. Uh, but calcium is by far the most important micronutrient that is out there. You're not going to have, your plants can't uptake the rest of your nutrients without calcium. That's why it is super important. Uh, so hopefully this kind of helps you see what the deficiencies look like and how you can fix those and why calcium is so important. Uh, tune in next time. I'll probably dive into magnesium next time just because calcium and magnesium are, are so similar to each other and kind of see what the deficiencies look like on a magnesium side versus a calcium side. All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Y'all have a good one.